Call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. No what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Kaku Akata, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts. Way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off. You did quite well. Place your pets. that rent of yours. Until then. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain Dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence, we already saw the two tiger claws. They must control the building. And Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. You take the blow up doll, remodel the hole. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. 
Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be? Angel or Meaning? Sky? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. The payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be... Vincent? Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V... You're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. You just gonna talk in circles? That it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. I stole this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through, tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity 
the futile struggle before. These terrify you. So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just wanna talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her, but that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? This Tom don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're going to have to escort you outside. Better keep this short and sweet. 
To brainwash sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure Relax. you- Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. I haven't really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Could it be Woodman finally topic? shed some light the on this shit show? Has a motor. Man uh, can only dream. Can the skull sponges and the dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. <laughs> Shit's in it though. Must have left in a hurry. Hey, no clients allowed in here. Be a germ and close the door on your way out, would ya? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you can do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you whores here, not snitches. 
I look like either of those to you. Told you what you look like. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Surely a reasonable man like yourself wouldn't mistake a donation for a bribe. Real pleasure chatting. But just where exactly do you see this going? Look, we can settle this without anyone getting hurt. Why make this any harder than it needs to be? You should ask yourself that. Listen carefully. One way or another, I'm gonna find her. And when I do, all kinds of shit is gonna happen. Shit you don't want to end up on the wrong side of. Assume you believe your side to be the right one. Take a wild guess. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. Her chip was busted up pretty damn good. By who? A client? No, outside job. Some kind of crack shot net runner. Punched through our ice like it was cheap wallpaper. Girl was a vegetable. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? I got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Ha! <laughs> 
You had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Ah, oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, no, damn it! Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari? To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out, so I'm gonna need you in. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and oils you, you die, but the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi.